Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the two newest products to Charlotte Tilbury's line, the Icon Eyeshadow Palette and the brand new Latex Love Long Lasting Lip Gloss. So if you want to hear my thoughts on these two new products, then just keep watching. So we are going to first start in with the eyeshadow palette. This is called the Icon Eyeshadow Palette. It is $65. Right now you can get it at Sephora.com and CharlotteTilbury.com. It will be available in Nordstrom next month. I did call them and that's when they said it would be sent to them. It is limited edition and it is $65. One thing I find with Charlotte Tilbury is when she says her eyeshadow palettes are limited edition, most of the time she will stick true to that. Like the stars in your eyes, you can't get any more. And I can just recall a, a numerous amount of launch that she said was limited edition and they actually were so if you are interested in this palette I would recommend picking it up so let's talk about the packaging of this guy I feel like this is very different for Charlotte Tilbury typically she sticks with very luxurious sophisticated packaging not that this isn't sophisticated but usually she doesn't really step out of her box with packaging she do kind of things that look like this um, so this is different for her this is a little out there for her um, I'm assuming it looks like this because it says online it is inspired by the spotlights, rock stars, and dancers that Charlotte parted with in Ibiza. So, I mean, I can definitely see that. <laughs> um, and then on the back, you're going to get just her guide of how you should be using it and the four looks that you are able to create with this palette. So you open it up and it is of course very similar to the Kevin O'Quan or the Jouer packaging. A lot of people are like kind of upset about that. I don't really mind. It's just a simple palette layout. I think that this type of packaging just makes it very compact and very easy to travel with. So I really don't mind. Um, so online this is described as a limited edition, like I said, 12 shade palette with four intensely pigmented electric eye looks to take you from day to date to diva to disco so of course the four looks you're going to get is day day diva and disco of course don't feel limited to only using the palettes in that order you can use the colors however you want of course but what I do love about Charlotte is the way that she does kind of curate these looks for you so if you aren't sure what look you want to do you do have that option of following them and the colors do go very very well together though I will say with this palette in particular the majority of it is just neutral so no matter what you do the colors are going to go very well together so right now I am going to show you the swatches from this palette now this palette in particular swatched very very beautifully there was no skipping very very pigmented that was a very good sign to begin with for me the consistency of the shadows is a little difference than say the stars in your eyes palette because these definitely have more of a creamy feel to them they are supposed to have more of a wet feel to them with that I do agree um, and it's weird because when you put your finger on the pan you almost feel like you're not going to get too much color from it it's just going to be a light wash and then you swatch it and it's a skip free pigmented shadow so Immediately with the swatches off the bat, I was very, very impressed with how they looked. So I have played with this palette for the past couple of days. I've created a few looks just because if I do more than one eye look in a day, my eyes get really irritated. So I did want to make sure I had a feel of all of the eyeshadows before I talked about it with you guys. If you are curious about what day eyes looks like, I am wearing it in my February favorites video. I just used those three shadows and really beautiful. I will say Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadow formulas in general, I would just describe as effortless and easy. I think her eyeshadows are really curated for the everyday woman. Um, very sophisticated eye looks is what you're going to get with her eyeshadow palettes. And I just feel like it's a formula that you either love or you just aren't really impressed by. If you are one of those people who is in love with the Charlotte Tilbury formula, I can tell you now, you're going to absolutely adore this palette. So what's interesting about this palette is that there are no mattes in it. I'm going to say there's there's about three to four shadows in here that have a satin formula which initially is what I would use as my transition colors and then the rest are either shimmer or a shimmer with a very very fine glitter effect to them. There are about three shadows in here that have that very fine glitter to them which is absolutely beautiful. For Charlotte this is kind of a bold palette for her because you do have this row right here which I think it's very nice that she added these in because in my opinion, this is a very good day to evening palette. You can just bring this with you if you're going on vacation or anywhere because you can create so many different looks for so many different occasions. So back to the formulas. The satin formula is 
absolutely beautiful in the crease so do not have fear if you're afraid of shimmers in the crease first of all it's okay um, personally I don't follow that rule I'll put shimmers in my crease any day uh, but the satins they are so beautiful they blend with absolutely no patchiness on your eyes and honestly satin formulas is better for more mature skin honestly this is a palette that is great for mature skin but you want a little bit of pizzazz because you do have those glitter reflex the formula in particular is going to be pretty flattering on mature skin tones so I don't have anything bad to say about any of the shades in here um, I will say the navy doesn't it, it'll sheer out but in a good way like it won't sheer out to that it disappears on your lid or gets patchy but it does kind of lose the shimmer effect that you see in the pan or when you first initially apply so it is a little bit more subtle on your oh eye this God. green glimmer shade which is beautiful it's more subtle but it is you do get the effect of a more deep smoky green eye which I do like the way I would describe this last roll here is being sassy without being tacky honestly these are a sophisticated twist on these dual tone colors and I mean everything else is beautiful um it's a very very cohesive palette everything blends lovely this is the perfect palette for a woman in the office who's going to get drinks afterwards and then I don't know you can get a mauve look, you can get a, just like a simple brown cool tone look, you can get a bronze look, a copper look. This is a beautiful, this is one of the colors that runs all the way down your arm when you swatch. You can get a really bright gold look and then of course you have these more bold colors back here. Okay, so really quickly I'm going to show you the tutorial I did to get the look that I'm wearing. I did stick to the first two columns. So the first shade I used was this one and I applied it to the outer corner of my eye and I just blended that for a little bit of definition and you will see here that it is a satin but it really just looks like pretty matte on your lid. So like I said, don't be scared that this palette is all shimmers. You're okay, I promise. The next shade I went into was from the date eyes section right here and I applied that just to the outer half of my eyelid right on top of that first color I used to begin a pink deep mauve so it continues the definition but it starts that really shimmery eyelid and then I went in with the lighter pink next to it and I applied that to the inner corner um, this I'm showing you like with a brush it completely works well but if you use your finger it is that creamy formula so it is going to apply better with your finger then I went in to this gold shade right here and I just applied that to the inner half of my lower lash line this is a really glittery color you guys are going to like it if you like a glittery gold it's a subtle gold it's not too flashy but it is quite glam so I really do like that gold and I like putting it on that inner corner of the lower lash line I think it looks nice then I went in with this copper shade and I applied that to my lower lash line personally I wouldn't normally do that I just wanted to use that shade but that shade all over the lid is going to give you the most beautiful copper lid like you will love it and then the last thing I did was take this color right here and I used it as my inner corner highlight and my brow bone oof this is probably my favorite color in the entire palette it's so reflective and I think this is going to look so good with any of these three crease colors you really should utilize that color as a lid color too not just like an inner kind of color so that is how I did this look I mean I don't have much else to say about this palette other than if you like the Charlotte Tilbury formula and you like the colors I would say go ahead and get it I have a hard time purchasing the quads from Charlotte Tilbury just because they are so much money so of course whenever she comes out with an eyeshadow palette I do pick it up because it is a much better value and that's the only way I can reconcile buying Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows but yeah I mean just in my opinion this is a very easy sophisticated palette I do enjoy it uh, is, is it my favorite palette in the world? No. Do I have the colors that are in here? I absolutely do. <laughs> um, so I don't think this palette is anything new or innovative. I mean, I didn't need it and you know what, if I wasn't filming this video, I probably wouldn't pick it up for myself, but I'm not mad that I have it in my collection. So, you know, it's a really nice palette. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I probably have like 30 other palettes in my collection like that. <laughs> okay, so now let's get into the Latex Love Lasting Lip Gloss. So these are also going to be limited edition. They are $34 each and she released six different colors. I did only pick up two so that I could play with the formula for you guys. So this is described as a lacquered and intensely pigmented liquid lipstick 
with a lip hugging effect to enhance the look of lips and coat them with a brilliant mirror like shine. So at first online when I read the description of these, I thought they were just like a regular liquid lipstick and I'm so over liquid lipsticks. They just make my lips look dry and feel uncomfortable. But then I actually saw these were a lip gloss formula and I jumped on these. So they do kind of remind me of the... It was like the Too Faced latex lip glosses that everybody hated, which I didn't hate, but you really couldn't wear it for a long period of time. So I was interested in seeing how these compare to those. So the two colors that I got were Berry Nude and Dirty Dancer. So Berry Nude is um, kind of like a lighter pinky nude, and then Dirty Dancer is almost a reddish brown nude. So what I really like about this product immediately is the applicator. It really is very stiff, but really allows you to get a very defined lip. I don't need to go in with a lip brush or anything after I use these. I get the shape that I want from this lip applicator applicator and so the formula of these you will notice by me swatching how extremely pigmented these are I didn't have to build it up on my lips or anything it was just complete opacity really really nice so immediately I'm having very good first impressions and then also just by the way she has a really cool like lip on the cap like I said Charlotte Tilbury is just not very risky with packaging so this is risky for her. <laughs> has maybe like a small ever so slight alcohol smell to it. That doesn't bother me. I don't smell on my lips but I did want to know that because I did see a couple people complaining online about that but I mean it doesn't really bother me. Of course I love a good cupcake smelling lip gloss so I kind of wish she went there with that. I think I'm in the minority with that. No? <laughs> so once you put this on your lips, it definitely it's sticky. If you don't like a sticky lip formula, you're not going to like this. As you can see, huge amounts of transfer, so don't eat with these on, okay? It's going to get all over your face, but like I said, as you can see, I just kiss my lips and I still have complete opacity there. So as these wear down, I find them to wear very pretty. They still keep that opacity, but suggestions, I would suggest wearing a lip liner with this. It doesn't bleed terribly, but like, I'm also 22. So I can only speak for myself right now. And if I'm suggesting a lip liner, I would definitely suggest more mature women use a lip liner as well. Uh, I can definitely get away without using a lip, lip liner, but just me being nitpicky and getting close, I can kind of see a tiny bit of bleeding. But what I do like about this formula compared to other of these long lasting, highly pigmented lip glosses is that I feel more secure wearing it than normal. It doesn't feel too oily. I can feel it sticking to my lips. There is some insurance that it is going to stay and not end up all over my face, but the nature of this type of product is <laughs> It's going to make a mess. It's going to transfer. It's kind of thick, so reapplying throughout the day can get a little bit uncomfortable. I think for the nature of this product, Charlotte Tilbury did a good job with the formula. It is long lasting. Just be mindful of what you're doing with your mouth throughout the day so you don't end up with lips all over your face. There are downsides to this type of formula, but it is what it is. Uh, you know what you're getting into when you get a product like this. But I like it. It's very comfortable on my lips. Uh, I hate dry lips, so this is very moisturizing on my lips. A little messy. You probably shouldn't eat a cheeseburger when you're wearing these, but I like them. I think they're really nice, and I like the two colors that I picked up. Let's round my thoughts up about this guy. So, the Icon palette. I like it. I don't love it. If you like the colors, you like the Charlotte Tilbury formula, you will like this. Not the most innovative eyeshadow palette I've ever used, but it does what it's supposed to do, so I can't say anything bad about it. It's quite pigmented, honestly. If you have a medium to deep skin tone, this is a palette that you can get down with. The shimmers are going to show up beautifully. The colors do apply beautifully, so I really do think you are going to like it. And the Latex Love Long Lasting Lip Gloss, not my favorite type of lip product in the world. There are some downsides to it. You know, they did a good job with what this product is, but this all comes down to personal preference. It's a good formula for this type of lip products, for sure. I just don't know that it's the most functional for everybody. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and demo of these products. Let me know if you are picking any of these up or if you already have and what your thoughts on it are. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.